his frame of thinking about these questions has to do with strategy. Uh, the strategy of an image maker towards the media and the effectiveness of images to serve our purposes. If you could change pixel by pixel the images, will people ever believe photographs in the future? It's a good reason, there's good reasons not to believe photographs, to be skeptical, and there are good reasons to believe them as well. It's a little like the oil painters. When photography was invented, the oil painters said, we're finished. And so in a sense, you could say that this digital revolution is asking photographers to be impressionists, to be cubists, and so on. It's saying, we can do so many things more efficiently with cell phones and so on than you do. We have distribution networks, we have all that. So now it's your turn to go crazy and do amazing things with photography. This to me is the most important photograph for me personally from the Iraq war. Because if you look at all the conventional media, you don't know that people go to the dentist. I think that the people, you know, it's again McLuhan's idea, we all go 150 kilometers an hour looking through the rear view mirror. We think we're going so fast, but we're both basically using old ideas. What I've said about photography today is in many ways true of film, it's true of design, it's true of architecture, it's true of many other fields. There's an enormous overlap, an enormous number of same issues. So to me, that's really what, what, what the revolution starts to be. It's a change in mindset. It's, it's not so much a change in technology. Thanks very much.